Hello, Flying Mechanics class. Uh, today I'll be doing an example problem on how to solve a mass spring damper system uh, using the eigenvalue method. So what we have right here is the diagram of the system, uh, the boundary conditions. Uh, so at time t equals zero, we have the uh, distance that the system travel is zero, and the velocity of the system equal to one. We also given the mass, the spring constant, and the damping constant. So we'll start by writing down the um, equation of the system. So my dash dash plus cy dash plus ky equal to zero. Now this can be rewritten as y dash dash equal to negative c over m y dash minus k over m y. So this is a second order uh, differential equation, and this equation had a has a general solution of y equal to c one e to the lambda one t plus c two e to the lambda two t. So what we have to find out today is to find out constants c one c two and lambda one lambda two. Uh, so here's how the eigenvalues uh, method works for this kind of equation. So first, let uh, x1 equal to y, x2 equal to y dash. This equation can be written as x2 dash dash equal to negative c over m x2 minus k over m x1. Now, we're going to rewrite this equation in form of matrix in order to show for the eigenvalues. So what we have is x1 dash, x2 dash equal to 0, 1, minus k over m, minus c over m, all multiplied by x1 and x2. So if we substitute the given condition into this matrix, what we're gonna have is x1 dash, x2 dash equal to 0, 1, negative 0.5, negative 5 on time x1 and x2. So uh, as you already uh, know, I mean being taught during class by Dr. Hayes, so the eigenvalues of this, uh, in order to show for the eigenvalues of this equation, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have lambda, square, subtract, a plus d, which is zero and negative five right here, multiplied by lambda, plus ad minus bc, which is 0 times negative 5 plus 1 times negative 0.5 not equal to 0 now rewrite this one we're gonna have lambda plus 5 lambda plus 0.5 equal to 0 and so in this uh, quadratic equation we're gonna have lambda 1 equal to negative point one zero two one lambda two equal to negative four point eight nine seven nine. So return back to our general solution. What we had so far is y equal to c one time e to the negative point one zero two one t plus c two time e to the negative of 4.89790t. So what we do next is to differentiate y with respect to t which is y dash and equal to negative 1 1 times c1 e to the negative t negative of 4.8979 times c2 times e to the negative of 4.8979t. 
So, uh, we're going to refer back to our boundary conditions. Y at time t equals 0 equals 0 and y dash at time t equals 0 equal to 1. So, at time t equals 0, we have y equal to c1 plus c2 equal to 0 and then y dash equal to negative uh, y1021 c1 minus 4.8979 c2 and equal to 1 and so in this um, system of equation we are going to find out the value of c1 which is 0.2085 and c2 which is negative of 0.2085 and that is that's how we solve for the solution of the mass spring damper system so the final solution for this system is going to be y equal to 0.2085 e to the negative of point zero one two one t subtract point two zero eight five time e to the negative of four point eight nine seven nine t this is the final solution of our mass spring damper system with the given boundary condition and the mass spring constant and damping constant right here.